Hey, how's it going YouTube? Uh, today I'm making this video because I recently had an error with my PS3 error uh, A002F281 uh, I want to say that you can fix this you can fix this yourself it's not too hard you will have to buy some things but uh, you can make it work for around 40 bucks 30 bucks or even cheaper um, what you need to buy is you need to buy a uh, hard drive enclosure kit. Uh, pretty much this is so you can make your hard drive an external hard drive. Uh, this will allow you to uh, format your PS3 hard drive to something else, to another format. Could be a FAT32 or anything else, okay? Uh, once you buy the hard drive, you can buy it on eBay for 20 bucks. Okay, you need a USB too. I'm sure you guys have one. Uh, what you need to do is uh, you need to open the bottom of your PS3 and take the hard drive out. You can check on YouTube or on the internet on how to do this. Take it off. Okay, take it off and then you need to put it on your on your uh, enclosure kit okay you put it on this will allow you to access your hard drive on your computer and you need to format it to something else okay anything it doesn't matter you plug it into your computer and you format your ps3 hard drive okay this will delete everything on your PS3 hard drive. Sorry, there is no way you can back up your PS3 data. Okay? No way. Sorry, that's what happens and uh, that happened to me. It sucks. Lost videos, save games, music, a lot of stuff. Uh, PS3 won't be able to recover your data as well, so don't even try to send it to Sony. Okay, you can fix this again. Once you format your hard drive to another format, you need to take it off. Okay, take it off and put it back on your PS3. You can check uh, the internet how to do those things, but I'm just being quick and showing you how to do it fast okay now on the USB you need to format it to FAT32 so it can so the PS3 can read it uh, don't put anything else except for this on the USB make a folder named PS3 capital letters inside that you make another folder named update capital letters inside that you need to download an update from PS3 website or anywhere in the internet. You just need a PS3 update. You put it on the USB inside the update folder, and then you unplug it once it's there. You put it in the PS3, and then what you need to do once you put the hard drive in your PS3 is you put it back, and once you put your USB back. Once you put it on the PS3, you plug in your cords, plug it into the TV, turn it on, you know. This time it's not going to say you have that error because you format it to something else other than the PS3 format. Okay, once you do that, you're going to try to update the PS3. That's what you want to do. That's, that's your goal. Okay, try to update the PS3 because you have the update on that USB. You plug it in and then you can do it on safe mode ps3 safe mode uh, I do not have time to explain everything you can look on the internet as well on how to do that uh, I'm gonna try to provide steps on the description on how to do that for you guys and try to provide the update as well okay once you do that turn on the ps3 and then you try to update it okay now the PS3 is going to look for the update, blah, blah, blah. And it's going to tell you to press start and select. 
start and select at the same time. Then it's gonna look for the update, then it's gonna find it. Once it finds the update, uh, it's gonna recognize that the PS3 hard drive is not a PS3 hard drive format. So it's gonna try to format it to a PS3 format. And it's gonna tell it to press start and select again for five seconds. You press it, then it will look for the hard drive and then format it to PS3 format. Once it finishes doing that, it will restart, I believe, and it will say the update that you downloaded. And then you press uh, whatever it says that you need to press, and it will install the update. Once it finishes installing the update, your PS3 will turn off, turn back on, and put the date as when you get your PS3 brand new and do all those things and your PS3 will be fixed. Again, this you can do it yourself. It's not a major thing. Again, it's not a major thing. The only thing that happened is you lost. You will lose all your data on your hard drive. But nothing happened to the PS3 itself. It's just the hard drive. The hard drive you have there, it's gone. Again, you can buy Think closure kit, which is 20 bucks on eBay or a store or anywhere. Really cheap, trust me, really cheap. This is the cheapest way you can do it. Or you can go to Fry's, Best Buy, and buy a hard drive. Uh, the size is 2.5 if you want to buy a new one. If you buy a new one, buy a big, like 30, uh, 500 gigs, or 700, or even a terabyte. It will work on the PS3, trust me. And then, yeah, it's up to you what you want to do. But this is the cheapest way to fix it. You don't need to buy another hard drive, okay? You can save money. You don't need to send it to Sony. You don't need to sell your PS3 to GameStop or buy another PS3. You can fix this yourself. Okay, again, a review. Format your hard drive to another format. Plug it into your computer and format it to something else, you know? You need to format this to 532 and put the PS3 folder, PS3 update inside the PS3 folder and put the update you downloaded from the internet in the update folder. Plug it into your PS3, plug in your hard drive and then your PS3 will recognize it, turn it on, press start and select, start and select again and then um, and then it will format the hard drive then it will install the update and your PS3 should be fixed okay that simple not too hard okay make sure you format your PS3 to another format or else it will not work to another format not the PS3 format don't try to use your PS3 friends hard drive okay all right. Thanks and uh, thanks for watching. And uh, please like this video. Okay. Thanks. Thanks again. Bye.